Hey guys, what's up? A very, very warm welcome to all of you. I hope all you guys are having a super amazing day going on, guys. Guess what? Today's class is going to be very, very interesting because the topics that we'll be learning today is very exciting. Okay, so I hope all of you guys are ready. So again, welcome to the session of light. Now, this is part two of the chapter light. If you guys haven't checked out part one, make sure you guys check it out right away. Okay, so again, a very warm welcome to my class. My name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vedantu and welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders too. All right, so what exactly are we going to be learning right today? Let's have a look at this. Before that, if you guys are there on Instagram, do not forget to follow me over there. My Instagram handle is learn underscore with underscore Mohan. Follow me right away. Why? Because you'll get all the updates. What are the new videos I'm planning to do? And also, you can interact to me over there. All right. So, the learning outcomes of today's sessions or what are the different topics that we'll be learning right today is going to be structure of human eye. We'll completely learn about the human eye, the parts of the eye, how to take care of eyes and also about the Briley system. All of these topics is what we'll be learning today. So suit up, it's going to get super interesting. First of all, let's talk about human eye. So guys, human eye is a wonderful, wonderful organ. We can't even imagine life without eyes, right? Because it's one of the important senses that we have. Now, what if, you know, we can't see? It will be very, very difficult for us. But the question is, how is this amazing organ work? Or how is it able to perceive light? How are we able to see things around us? So to understand that, we'll have to study the eye. Now that looks creepy. So let's go to the next slide and understand how amazing eye works. Okay, now if you look at closely, eye has many parts. First of all, let's go from outside to inside. Okay, cornea. Cornea is the outer part of the eye. It protects the internal, uh, or, you know, internal parts of the human eye. Next, we will go to the iris part. Now, what is iris? If you look closely into my eye, you can see this black color thing, right? So every one of us has that iris in our eyes, which tells us what color our eyes are. Some people might have blue eyes. Some people might have green eyes. So the color of the eye depends on the iris. Okay, now this iris has a small hole in the middle. This small hole in the middle is called as the pupil. So pupil is where the light enters into the eye. Now I want you all to do an activity. Take a torch light, go to your brother or sister or friend and shine light on their eyes. If you do it, you can see the pupil moving. Sometimes the pupil expands and sometimes the pupil contracts. So when does the pupil expand and when does the pupil contract? Now, imagine you are in a dark room. There is no light at all properly. So your pupil will expand and try to absorb all the light possible. So in darkness, your pupil in fact becomes big when it is too much bright. Because too much light can harm our eyes. In that case, your pupil becomes small. But who is controlling this movement of the pupil? That is the iris. So iris controls the movement of the pupil. Okay, it, it, it makes it big, it makes it small. Depending on how the light is around us. Got it? Next, once light enters into the pupil, there comes an amazing natural lens that we have. Yes, we do have lens in our eyes. It's a convex lens. So it's also a converging lens, basically. All the light will converge at one point. Now, where is it converging? It's converging on the wall of the retina behind here. So on the walls of the retina, what do we have? We have nerve cells. That nerve cells are cons and rods. We will learn about this. So as I told you, light first falls on the cornea. Next, iris. You can see the iris right here. This entire, you know, part is the iris. This is what gives us color of the eyes. Iris is the muscular structure behind the cornea. Looks very, you know, scary, you know. <laughs> now, iris controls the amount of light uh, reaching the interior of the eye by automatically adjusting the size of the pupil. Correct. So, behind that, we have the eye lens. So eye lens is located behind the pupil, you can see here. 
and you can see how all the light is converging it's going and hitting one point where on the retina the eye lens focuses the light on the retina okay now guys sometimes what happens is this light will not get focused on the retinal wall due to the defect in the lens that is when people develop far sightedness or near sightedness so if it is near sightedness that means the light might converge before the retina they will be able to see the near objects properly but not the far objects if they are far sightedness the light is converging behind the retina so they will be able to see the far objects properly but not the near objects it is also called as myopia and hyperopia simple all right next so also there is one more eye disease eye defect called as cataract so as people grow older the lens becomes cloudy right because of the old age in those cases we have cataract surgery where the doctors in uh, you know uh, remove the old lens and place an artificial lens okay so retina is located behind the lens uh, at the back of our eyes now image is formed on the retina only but how how is retina able to capture the image retina has nerve cells called photoreceptors or nerve cells there are two as i told you one is rods other one is cons now these rod cells in the retina are sensitive to dim light okay so uh, and the con cells are sensitive to bright light and colors these are the two different uh, photoreceptor cells that we have in the retinal wall got it very interesting look at how much you know how many uh, what all different things happens in human eye so many parts work together to give us a very beautiful image right the next topic is persistence of vision what does that mean guys we all know that image is formed in the retinal wall on the retina that image in fact stays for some time it doesn't disappear it stays for a fraction of time that is in fact the image that is formed on the retina persists or stays there for 1 by 16th of a second that is called persistence of vision so by using this movies are made videos are made see movies are basically what they are flashing different pictures right in one second 24 pictures per second so that's a moving picture all right guys yes how to take care of our eyes regularly eye check up uh, study in proper lighting blink frequently wear sunglasses on a sunny day distance adjustment gaze for a green tree eye exercise eat healthy food all of these are few things which we can do to take care of our eyes okay simple now what about people who can't see what about people who are visually challenged guys people who are visually challenged they have their own method to read and write okay that system that they use to read and write is called braille system now this system was developed by lewis braille who himself was a visually challenged person and this is based on dots guys okay which which are called as cells you can see each and every character has its own dots there will be six cells and all these six cells can form multiple patterns so each of that pattern will indicate a word a letter uh, you know uh, uh, all of those so braille script is an alphabet set using uh, in used by the blind for reading and writing each braille character is made up of a combination of six dots arranged in the matrix form six dots okay so two rows and three columns now each braille character is made up of a combination of six dots arranged in matrix form a dot may be raised or you know from the flat surface it is raised a little up so you can touch and feel it to study the uh, you know alphabets got it guys so today's homework question is going to be i want you guys to tell me what is that front bulged part of the eyeball called as that is going to be the homework question and people who gave me answers for the last homework question let's look at them let's see our homework winners okay where is light one yes let's scroll down we have 15 comments okay we have 
Shaukat Ali, very good, beta, nice. Then we have Divya Bharati, right. Then we have Mor, okay, Darshini, okay, Danushri, Likit, Atul, uh, and that's it. So very, uh, you know, good job giving the right answers for the last homework question. Do not forget to give me the answers for this homework question also below it. I will like and I will acknowledge you in the coming sessions. Okay, guys. So I hope all of you had fun. Now, one more very, very interesting thing I want to tell you all is about Vedantu's courses. So guys, yes, I know that most of you guys are waiting to take up the Vedantu courses. You are still thinking about what is the right time. Guys, don't worry. The links are right below my video. Click on that link. Okay, so check it out for one year, entire academic, uh, uh, you know, year, the prices for the course is just 8,100. It is not just classes, you'll be having live in-class doubt solving. Okay, in-class quizzes and leaderboards, assignments and class notes, all India test series, study materials, so many amazing things. Along with this, you also have Vedantu improvement promise. That is, if you take up Vedantu, you don't see any improvement money back get the entire money back so that is how amazing it is so make sure to take up the courses right away because the next batches are starting very soon i don't want you guys to miss this out you can see the next batch is on 4th july that is today so make sure that you guys show this entire website to your parents you can change your grades here if you're not from grade 8 change it to 9 10 7 6 whatever grade you want and for grade 8, guys, check this out. For JE NEET, you have foundation courses for 8,910 for six different subjects. Math, Chemistry, Biology, Physics, Aptitude, Social Studies. My God. Along with classes, as I told you, 100% doubt solving, live in-class quizzes and leaderboards, Vedantu Improvement Promise, assignments and class notes, test series, study materials, everything. So show this website to your parents. You can also try it for 15 days. Click on this. Use my coupon code MKPRO to get 10% off from whatever course you are taking. Take it up right today and be make sure that you guys the fastest batch as possible. Make sure you guys join the batches. All right, guys. So I hope all of you had fun learning about human eye. So we, we learned about all of that interestingly. Now let us meet up in the next class. But guys, to check how much you guys have understood what we learned in today's session, make sure, you know, to uh, take up the V quiz in the description. You can see there is a V quiz in the description. Take it up right now to check how much you guys have understood. All right, guys. So I hope all of you had fun. And do not forget to hit on the subscribe button, like, share, and uh, you know, uh, uh, hit on the bell icon. I'll see you guys all in the next class. So until then, this is me, Mohan, signing off. All of you, take care, stay safe, stay as lovely as always, you guys. Bye-bye.